the worst tarp ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Hey, welcome along to another Midlife Crisis Guys video. Thanks for joining me. I've got out at last. To be honest, this is so overdue. I've, um, I'm up at Cannock Chase. I'm without the bike, uh, but I have bought the girls. And I just had to get out, I really did. I just thought I, I need to, to get out for some peace and tranquility, quiet, listen to the wind in the trees um, and today was the day I chose to do that. It isn't a night out unfortunately, um, there is things happening that doesn't enable me to do a wild camp much I know it's long overdue so the next best thing is a day out, um, spend a few hours in the woods. I'm going to attempt to put up my tarp which will be entertaining because it's been absolutely ages since I've used my tarp.
worst tarp ever, ever, ever. <laughs> um, I didn't film myself putting it up because it was just too embarrassing because I did not have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> but you know what, it's there, it's up. Um, I had it the other way first and obviously the rule that you consider is um, protect yourself from the wind and I set it up so the opening was in the wind. So I've totally turned it round. Um, I haven't used any magical brassic knots or whatever, just the good old fashioned granny knot. No, I'm not even a bushcraft person, I would never ever, ever, ever say that I was a bushcrafter, okay? so. Um, but you know what, it's been fun. It's cheered me up. All this doom and gloom lately, I've had such fun putting this bloody thing up. So let's attempt to have a chat. I don't know if you get, I really hope the audio's all right. I'm praying that the shotgun mic on the media mod on the GoPro is helping. So quite possibly the worst tarp setup you will have ever seen. I take pride in that. But you know what? It's still quite cozy. The wind's really getting up now, but it's, ho it's holding its own. I put the ridge line up. Um, but I forgot to do out those prasic knots again, which was annoying. I should have been a bit more prepared. It's not like I haven't had time to prepare. I'm so rubbish, but there you go anyway. Um, right, I've been through a phase lately of when I've been doing videos, mentioning lots of other videos. The last one I did was all about um, Ghosty Ghoulies and Halloween camping. Um, but I mentioned earlier, I've been watching lots of YouTube uh, and getting really inspired by various people. And there's a guy, and I hope I've got his name right, Hayes Outdoors. I've heard him thrown around, his name mentioned, I'm sure I have by other YouTubers. But what a sound, sound bloke, sound bloke. Um, and he went out and uh, just did a, one of many wild camps, as we all do, filming. But what inspired me about his was the way he just knocked up a stew. Um, now I've confessed fully before not to being particularly adventurous when it comes to going out camping, wild camping with my cooking. Um, basically I just use the good old boil in the bag um, just to save the mess really. But the way this guy just knocked together this stew was just absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm not going to do anything as, as elaborate as what he did, but I am going to just whack in a few vegetables into some boiling water and chuck in a bit of chicken, which I did brown off this morning. Um, I'm not a cook at all. Anyone that knows me are going to laugh their heads off really at this. It's going to be quite funny, but I thought it would be fun to have a go. So uh, let's have a go. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll wait with the courgettes because they uh, they cook really quickly. The big scare is the dogs, they can smell the food now. Ah, go away. So I've got some uh, chicken stock, got some mushrooms, got some onion and I've got some potato. all out of gas but it was just running so slowly that and uh, it's one of those annoying things about gas you just don't know when you're going to run out so I've resorted to the good old fuel fuel burner which thankfully I bought as a backup so there we go it's bubbling away it's starting to get nice and hot now so it's going to take a while. It's just, just my big worry is these dogs wandering around. I don't want them to knock it over inadvertently. So yeah, just to elaborate, I've just had a really, really, really crappy few weeks. It's been blooming awful. Um, like I said, fell foul to the dreaded COVID. Just woke up one o'clock in the morning, really high temp. I just knew it. I absolutely knew it. So I did serve my time. Had all the classic symptoms, loss of taste and smell, which I haven't even got now. Um, high temp initially, high temp for a few days, just really achy, lethargic. Uh, yeah, it's not, not, not been very nice really, and consequently spread to my family, and uh, it's caused all sorts of issues really, so it's been horrible. So uh, another reason that I just felt I had to get out, and here I am, and I'll tell you what, as I've said before, what fabulous medicine. Um, out with these two. <laughs> My beautiful girls. And I just wanted to come out and do some cooking in, in the woods. Like I said, not the best type in the world. Oh dear, never mind. Live and learn. Look at that, that's boiling nicely, that is. Looking forward to that now. Girls have made themselves comfortable. Found a good way of popping up my tarp. Food's starting to smell good now, actually. Looking forward to it. Been a long time coming. Go away, go away. But here is my woodland stew. Really looking forward to this. It's been boiling away for ages. Cheers. Now, you know how I say that when you 
have a coffee when you're wild camping, it always tastes better. And the fact that I don't cook very much, my woodland chicken stew is fantastic. I'm so proud of this. It's been worth the wait. Mm. I normally come uh, up here, along here on my mountain bike. This is part of what we call the blue trails. And uh, so, not follow the dog, not the monkey. But there are miles of these blue trails around Cannock. Always seems weird to me. I've been up here that many times on my bike, but I chose not to bring my bike today. Even on a bike, it's amazing what you miss, you know, tearing along. And when you walk, little things like, these autumn colors that I can stop and look at, beautiful. Even if you don't do the whole wild camping thing, hopefully this video has proved that you don't need to go off overnight to go off and find some wilderness and some peace and quiet and serenity and listen to the wind and listen to nature. It's the best medicine ever. <laughs> it's just been wonderful. It really, just what the doctor ordered for me. This is just beautiful, beautiful. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for watching as ever. Really do appreciate it. Please drop us a comment if you, if you want to. I'll always endeavour to get back to everyone. And uh, if I haven't, I apologise, but I do try. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, stay safe. <laughs>